Hi everyone, so I just wanted to update you on the week that I've had with my eyes. So you all know that I went to the opticians at Park Lane. So I had my initial test, uh, I had my scans, I had my contacts specially made. Um, so at the point where we left off, I think I had just got them. Um, I'd had my first night in them and my eyesight had drastically improved. So I actually went from a minus 2.25 to a minus 0 0.25 in a day. Now that was just the first time of wearing my glasses. Uh, sorry, my glasses, my contacts. So I just wanted to keep you updated in where we've been in the meantime. So we're officially seven days later. So we have, um, you know, we have a massive improvement in the eyes. Um, I've had, to be honest, a few ups and downs with the lenses, which I wanted to speak to you about. So the first couple of days, um, they were absolutely fine. Uh, to be honest, a, a few teething problems, as I think I've mentioned before, in terms of just getting them in properly. Uh, but as the weeks have gone on, as the days have gone on even, um, what I didn't realise was that uh, you had to basically change the solution in your cases every day. Now, that was my fault because I did not read it, I did not read my leaflet properly. So guys, it is so, so important to read it properly. Um, so as a few days went on, um, so my Friday, my Saturday, my Sunday were fine. Uh, on the Monday, to be honest, it was getting a bit difficult to put them in. I was getting a bit frustrated. They just weren't sort of going into the middle of the pupil where they should be. Uh, and they were a little bit more uncomfortable. Um, Tuesday was where I sort of really did struggle. So Tuesday, I put my lenses in and I've always, always struggled with my right eye. Whereas every time I put them in, it tends to go to the side. So I always have to sort of get my little suction thing take it out and then just keep putting it in until it goes into the center of the eye where it should be. Now, uh, my left eye, I never usually struggle with. Uh, however, on the Tuesday, I put the um, I put it in uh, after a few attempts, got it in and my eye just would not stop watering. So I, it was late at night and I actually made the decision, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it off. So this eye on, um, on the Tuesday evening, I left free and this one I had the lens in. When I woke up the next day, I took this one out as normal. And to be honest, my eyesight throughout the day was absolutely perfect. Uh, as the day went on, I didn't feel it getting any worse. Um, so the I look, luckily at that point, had a conversation with my mum who actually works at an opticians as well. So I got a bit of a telling off for not reading things properly. Um, and she did explain to me that you must take your, uh, you know, you must take the solution out every day wash it thoroughly, um, keep the case upside down so that it doesn't get any, attract any dust or any dirt, which is absolutely fine. So I actually, um, I actually thought, well, I'll just give my eyes a rest. So on Wednesday night, I didn't actually use the lenses at all. And then come Thursday, and I obviously cleaned them out as well. So come Thursday, I thought, right, I'll give them a go again. So Thursday night, which was last night, I put them in and oh, they just went in so easily. I mean, I'm still sort of teething at the minute. It's still not in... I mean, it's taken me more than one attempt, but it was, it just felt, my eyes just felt a lot better with them in, uh, and they were a lot less sensitive. Uh, so I actually did the full night with both of them in, um, woke up the next morning, and I actually thought that one of my lenses had come out in the night, because I couldn't feel it at all. Um, so when I went to take them out, obviously it was in there, um, but it just shows how much of a difference it makes, just thoroughly cleaning your glasses out, your um, contact cases out and how much it helps just having, you know, the, the correct lenses in. So that was great. Um, so I'm sort of feeling a lot more comfortable now. Um, so I went today just to have another checkup. Um, so I tested my eyes again. I was very lucky because I haven't actually contracted any infection whatsoever. Um, the My eyes were tested and, uh, you know, there was not even any trace of, you know, any sort of structures or anything from the contact lens use uh so i've actually done really really well with that and i've had a lucky escape but obviously if i had carried on not changing my solution then things would have been a lot worse so a good tip uh, and something that is a lot more important than you may think is do please keep your contacts clean um so yeah overall the night lenses um, they've really improved my vision what is funny is my eyes aren't really, uh, oh, sorry, my brain isn't really 
connecting with my eyes at the moment in terms of every time I get in the car, I'm sort of overthinking things and, I'm, and my brain is telling me, you need to put your glasses on because you can't see. So I do put my glasses on and then I'm sort of there like, well, there's no difference whatsoever. I don't need my glasses. My vision is perfect. Um, so I think it's probably just going to take a little bit of getting used to in terms of uh, my brain actually understanding you can see again and it is fine. Um, which is quite funny, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see how we go with them. But I do feel a lot more comfortable. And as the days are now going on, now that I'm a bit more confident, um, it's not as much of a disruption to my nightly routine as I sort of first thought. Um, so overall in the week, it's been great. Uh, I mean, what is funny as well, uh, considering I had a day off in my first week and one of my eyes, my left eye, had two days off, um, last night before I put my lenses in, uh, I actually went out for dinner with a friend and we were stood outside on the, uh, on the high street and I was, uh, just looking down a long line of shops and I was just amazed that, bear in mind because it's dark, I could see so clearly, I could read signs that usually I wouldn't have even been able to see and, you know, those of you who are like me that don't have, you know, great eyesight especially long distance, you can't see things and you just get used to not being able to see things. So I was really surprised that after, with one eye having two days off and one day, one eye having one day off, I was still able to see so clearly. So I think it does show how quickly it does work uh, as long as you keep up with it. And to be honest, just missing a day or two here and there isn't the end of the world. And it takes a few days for your eyesight to sort of start to deteriorate again and go back to the point where you you know your your eyesight was awful um so another thing that i want to talk about is sort of my experience today so um today obviously we went through the testing and you know we found that my eyes were great um you know being able to read every single line on the on the board at the opticians whereas when i first started when i went in for my initial test i could only see one line um, so basically, uh, after we'd done our tests, uh, my optician Sarah, she actually gave me some of the little lenses that they test your eyes through. And she said, just have a look through them now. So I looked through them and they were absolutely awful. I just could not see anything. It was so, so blurred. And she said, when you came into me, that is what your eyes were like. And she said to me on the board, how far down can you read? And I was really struggling because everything was blurred. But I said, I can probably read the third or fourth line. She said, well, actually, when you came, you could only see the third line. So even though I was putting these lenses on and I was sort of saying, like, surely it can't have been that bad. She actually explained to me, well, your brain has adjusted now to or it's starting to adjust to great eyesight. But before this is what you were working with and your brain was basically used to seeing this. So now that I'm used to something else, now that I'm used to being able to see again, um, you know, it, it is, it's nice to sort of reflect on how bad things actually were. Uh, I mean, I was terrible as well. I think I've mentioned before with glasses, whereas I just refused to wear them because I just did not like the way that they sort of felt. And I didn't, I didn't like the way that I looked, which is a little bit shallow, but you know, self-confidence is so important and, you know, it is important that you feel confident and, you know, everyone wants to go out looking nice and, you know, they, it's not even looking nice, it's feeling that you're looking nice. So for me, I didn't get that feeling. For me, I was very self-conscious. I felt like people were looking at me. They probably weren't, um, but it's just, it gets in your head and, you know, especially as girls, we do get a little bit sort of paranoid about those types of things. So it's been nice having perfect vision, not having to worry about what it is that I look like. I'm so confident with the way that I am without my glasses and I'm so confident just going into just little things like being able to go into a supermarket and just see everything and just being able to read the aisles where, you know, where is, where's the pasta and, you know, where, where are the, where's the fruit and veg aisle or that I wouldn't have been able to see before. And I've always really struggled. So now to actually just enjoy the little things, it's just been absolutely incredible so i'm looking forward to continuing on my little journey um and i may keep you updated along the way uh, but so far so good you know it's exceeded expectations for me uh, and i couldn't have really asked for any more so uh, just a big thank you really to uh, to the guys at night lenses and obviously to park lane opticians as well that have been so supportive through all of this and uh, you know i've obviously told them of the struggles and you know they've provided me with so much advice and so much education um, so overall, I'm so, so happy with it. And I really would recommend if any of you are struggling uh, with your eyesight and, you know, have experienced the same things that I've experienced, 
it is so so worth it it really is and i love that it's so natural because it's the tears that are repairing your eyes and there's no foreign objects there so overall i couldn't be happier so fingers crossed i'll um i'll, I'll stay in this sort of line of vision uh, i'm hoping that as time goes on i don't think they will deteriorate so i'm hoping to sort of always stay at this level of you know pretty much perfect vision again um, now my brain, uh, all we need now is my brain to get used to it. But uh, yeah, so that's my uh, sort of seven days with my lenses. So I hope you enjoyed my story and I hope I've been able to help a few of you. Uh, but yeah, overall, please do have a look, have a look at it. If you can find one of the suppliers, you know, if you go on the Night Lens website, they do have a list of local suppliers in your area. And those that are local to me, local to the Cheshire area, I cannot recommend Park Lane Opticians enough. They are so, so, so lovely, so helpful. Every time I go in, um, you know, they know me now on a first name basis because I'm in there so much, but yeah, all of the staff, they are just incredible um, and I can't say a bad word about them. So thank you to them. And uh, Park Lane in Macclesfield is definitely one for all you Cheshire guys. Um, but yeah, thank you so much everyone for, for listening to me. Um, hopefully that I've helped. And I'll see you all soon. Thank you.